Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to name the different parts of the eye and state their functions. You should then be able to explain how the eye adapts to dim light and this is for triple biology students only. Now I should point out there's a lot of detail in this video but it's really worth learning as it's a common exam question. I'm showing you a cross section of the eye here. The eye is a sense organ and it contains receptors sensitive to both light intensity and also the colour of light. OK, so let's start by looking at the functions of the different parts of the eye. Light rays pass through the transparent front of the eye, and this is called the cornea. The job of the cornea is to start the focusing of the light rays. The light rays then pass through the pupil in the centre of the iris. The iris is the coloured part of the eye, and we'll be looking at the function of the iris later. The light rays now pass through the lens. The job of the lens is to focus the light rays onto the back of the eye. Now one key feature of the lens is that it can change its shape, allowing us to focus on distant or near objects. This is called accommodation and we'll be looking at that in the next video. The light rays are now focused onto the back of the eye. This is called the retina and the retina contains receptor cells for light. These receptor cells allow us to detect light intensity and light colour. The receptor cells in the retina now send electrical impulses down the optic nerve to the brain. OK, so we've looked at how the eye detects light. However, there are some other parts of the eye that you need to know. Firstly, the white part of the eye is called the sclera. This tough outer structure protects the eye. The ciliary muscles and the suspensory ligaments work with the lens. Together they allow us to focus on distant or near objects, and again we look at that in the next video. OK, now earlier we saw that the iris is a coloured part of the eye. The pupil is the space in the centre of the iris which light passes through. I'm showing you the iris and the pupil here. As we saw, the pupil allows light rays to pass into the eye, and the job of the iris is to control the size of the pupil. Imagine that you enter a dark room. The amount of light entering the eye is now low. This drop in light intensity is sensed by light receptors in the retina, and these send electrical impulses to the brain. The brain then sends electrical impulses to specific muscles in the iris. These muscles contract, causing the pupil to become larger. This now allows more light to enter the eye. Now this is a reflex action because it does not involve the conscious part of the brain. We can see the opposite effect if we walk into a bright room. In this case, the reflex causes the pupil to become smaller. This now reduces the amount of light entering the eye and protects it from damage. In the next video, we look at how the eye focuses light from distant or near objects. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the structure and function of the eye in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.